Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Power Toys version 095 has just rolled out and is now the latest release. And the update rolled out a couple of hours ago. And this is quite a big update. And the, one of the biggest key highlights with the update is that it now includes the new light switch utility, which can automatically switch your dark and light themes on Windows um, automatically, which I think is a very nice move in the right direction. So although Windows doesn't have a native feature for that, Microsoft Power Toys now has one which can get the job done, which I think is a step forward. Now Light Switch, if we just head to our system tools, as you can see, Light Switch new feature. Microsoft says is a brand new utility that automatically switches your PC between light and dark mode. You can set custom start and end times or let light switch handle it for you by using the sunrise and sunset times for your location. So I'm just going to demonstrate this with a very simple example. If I turn it on, you can see that my time for dark mode to be turned on is 19.48 in the evening and off at 7.42. Now this was the default setting. I'm just leaving it at that for the purpose of this video. So you can see that basically you can set times when you want dark mode to be turned on and off and if we scroll down you can see he has a kind of a visual representation of that so there's dark light dark and you can apply dark mode to system so that would be taskbar start and other system you are or apps supported applications so you've got quite a lot of settings and options that are available with this which i think is a nice move and then if you set that to sunset and sunrise you can just sync your location and then that will get the job done and turn dark mode on and off according to your sunset and your sunrise so i actually think this is a very nice move in the right direction because it does bring automatic theme switching to the windows os which i do prefer so i'm just going to quickly pop this back to dark mode because that's hurting my eyes i personally prefer a dark mode but nonetheless just to show you for the purpose of this video so enable light switch that's now available with version 0 0.95 and then if you are using the command palette microsoft says that command palette using windows alt and space where microsoft says that you can now find things faster than ever and apparently this was due to user feedback and this release brings a brand new fuzzy matcher with smarter fallbacks that match search results both faster and more relevant so apparently the results for search are faster than they were prior to this update so that's an improvement for command palette and then you can now use peak with the spacebar So peak is a quick and easy way to preview files. And you can see here that there is a new activation method. The default is a custom shortcut, which is control and space. And you can now set that to spacebar. So if I just head into my file explorer, just so I can hover over a file. So we just hover over an image and I hit spacebar and there we go. Just a quick example for this video. So you can now peek with the spacebar and find my mouse now supports transparency which is also another big community ask so it's a highly requested feature according to microsoft and if we head to input and output mouse utilities find my mouse apparently now microsoft says is fully transparent now i'm just going to say at the outset with this transparency for find my mouse I'm unable to activate the full transparency there's find my mouse but still a solid color although microsoft says you just head to the appearance section and adjust the transparency slider for the cursor color i'm not seeing that this isn't for the cursor color this is the spotlight initial zoom so maybe you've got better luck than me maybe it's on a controlled rollout but i'm not seeing that but nonetheless Find my mouse now supports transparency so 
that circle, as an example, will be fully transparent, which I do think is a nice move in the right direction if you are seeing that feature. Now, this next one, I'm just going to mention quickly. If we head to the home page, the last release introduced, as I posted, the shortcut conflicts detection, which Microsoft says now it's expanded on the feature now with version 095 where you can now ignore specific conflicts directly from the conflict dialog so they no longer show up as a conflict. So a bit of an improvement for shortcut conflicts. Now just to mention some other notable changes, if we head to input and output, and we head to mouse utilities once again, and this time we head down to mouse pointer crosshairs, which can be enabled using Windows Alt and P. Mouse pointer crosshairs, Microsoft says, now lets you show only the horizontal line, vertical line, or both. So default is both. So if we head to appearance and behavior, you can see vertical and horizontal lines, vertical only or horizontal only. I'm going to choose horizontal only. Use the same shortcut, and there we go. You get the general, you get the general idea. So you have three options now for mouse pointer crosshairs, which does give a bit of versatility, which I'm always in favor of. Then sticking with the mouse utilities, the gliding cursor can now be canceled with the escape key, which I think is nice. And if we head to Quick Accent, Microsoft says that it's added a Welsh layout for vowels in Quick Accent. And then Zoom It. Microsoft says Zoom It now supports smooth image zooming. So quite a lot going on in this update 0 0.95. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.